Pacing is an essential part of editing. Why? Okay, so the first thing is the definition. So, definition of pacing is pretty simple. It's typically in audio, it's the steady, it's a steady speed or a steady amount of beats in a song. So in this case, we have a low fi beat here, pretty simple uh, because there's not gonna be a lot of beats in the song. But in this case, we have like, I'm gonna play it back. It's gonna be constant one, 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 really. And okay, so we have all these beats here. Notice how it goes one, 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 one. So what we noted, what you can do, if you want to find a steady pacer, and this is gonna shock you because um, it may be different for other people, it may be different for you, it may be different for your edit, but it may, really, this is a steady pacing. But also, this might not be a steady pacing for your edit. So another sort of pacing you could do is if you were to go like, say if you played it back, right? And we had all these ones. Notice how there's a beat, a beat here, or a clap, then a beat. Then there's a little tick here. Yeah, there's a little tick around this area. What we could do, is we could actually remove, we could remove one of these if we would like to. In this case, I might remove the tick here. And see how that kind of does like a one, then two, one, two, and then we have a click here. We could remove the click again. We could do one, two, remove the, click, the tick again. And then we can go, we can pretty much continue on as we go. So that's basically another way you can pace is to always, you always want to analyze what kind of sounds are in your, in your song and determine how you want to pace above, upon your song. So in this case, I'm not going to paste above this click here. I'm just soft little click from the, from, it sounds like a film, like a film effect going on or something. Oh, uh, like, like a sound crackle. So in this case, I'm not going to focus on the sound crackles. I'm going to focus strictly on the beats. So one, one two. So and the, see, these are all beats here. That is another way to pace. So pacing is all about steady timing. This also applies to your scene selection. So in this case, I have four clips from Bakimara Guitari, I believe that's how you say it. So these are all just rock clips, but notice how they're all placed on the beats. If we were to have say like timing map stuff, transitions, effects used, imagine what a pacing, what imagine what pacing you would need for that. Or like imagine if this is the type of edit I want to go for, will these type of transitions work? Or will these type of effects work? Or will these type of scene selections work? That's another key part to focus on when it comes to um, pacing is you always want to be aware of what you have. So in this case, we have the beat, right? We have the, the lo-fi song. And notice how we have four, four different songs, four different clips here. If we had the, the click in the middle, we would actually be having to put another clip inside here. So if we go one, 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 and then right over here, then another click one, one, one. So we would have around like six clips to have. And for some people that may be um, desirable, but other people they may want to have these or three or four clips instead of having each beat to be the same. That's why in pace and when you're always trying to hear out your beats you all you don't always need to have a lot of beats and in fact having every single beat is really unnecessary because it takes away from your actual potential the potential of your edits results with the so amount the with the pacing you choose <laughs> with the pacing you choose 
So yeah, that's basically the definitions and pretty much the examples of how you can pace in with audio and video. All right, so the end uh, the end of this video, I'm just gonna show a couple of examples on my edits on how I use my, how I utilize my pacing each time. Uh, in this case, I have an example, uh, HSR edit. It's uh, 1920 by 840 at 20 FPS. This was a poorly made one in my personal opinion, and I think a lot of people would agree <laughs> because um, in the middle, the pacing died off. So the steady pacing died off. So let me just show, let me just show you how it looks. Now, if you can analyze, if you can uh, figure out which part of the edit uh, um, had the off offbeat pacing, then let me, uh, the un, the unsteady pacing. Uh, but yeah, no. So in this case, right here is when it started dying because I focused too much on the clips and the the clip flow. So. I ended, and honestly, that ultimately resulted in bad, the bad pacing, but also the way I paced it, I feel like was not the greatest either, because when I tried to get sparkles, like effect go off into, um, um, I think Black Swan's her name, I forgot, but her, her little effect here with her, uh, powers, I didn't pace it the best, so it ended up looking like this. So you heard like three beats, two to three beats in the same, and one to two clips. So which I typically don't do because I I don't really pace like that. But in this case, that's one where the pacing kind of dies off. So let me show you one where the pacing is pretty consistent and it's pretty on par or pretty on point. All right, so here's an example of something that I did do recently that was also pretty uh, pretty good, but also at the same time was because it was pretty simple. It was a pretty simple um, way to pace it. So in this case, it looked like this. And honestly, I could have went off of like lyrics, but I noticed that the beats were pretty consistent and everything didn't really do like one, two or one, two, three, ones or anything. So in this case, I just did one scene after the other, and that's pretty much a good way to pace in this in this um, sort of uh, audio. So yeah, lastly, here is another edit I love making, and it also has a few different uh, types of beats in here that are really cool that I kind of uh, did my own kind of st style with. So in this case, it, looks, it sounds like this. <laughs> So you guys can kind of get the understanding. So with this, uh, I hope I'll help you get the understanding. This had a few beats right here, like one, two, three here. And then I, uh, then I transitioned into the next scene. And then this has a couple different uh, scenes, a few a few different scenes to end off the, I think it's a quadruple beat. Yeah, it sounds like a quadruple beat or quintuple beat. So, in that case, I chose to follow that route where I had a bunch of different scenes inside the quadruple beat. But in this case, but sometimes people, sometimes, not necessarily people, but sometimes you don't have to always follow that. Um, but it's important that everything is steady, which is the kind of the ending summary of this summary statement of this video. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial or guide or inform informational uh, vid. It's, I wanna continue doing stuff like this. So if you have any feedback in the comments, I'd greatly appreciate it. Let me know if I got anything wrong. Let me know if I got some things correct and explain some things well, so explain some things a little bit poorly. I greatly appreciate it. So this is gonna be it. Uh, please use the timestamps if you need them. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great one. Goodbye.